Hi, I'm Brian Chris with AudioBiz, and today we're going to take you through the inventory tab on Shure's Wireless Workbench 6 software. We'll teach you how to add and manipulate your inventory so that we can get started on building a show and analyzing frequencies. Let's get started. So we have our Wireless Workbench 6 software open. I'm going to go into the inventory tab and let's add some devices to our show. You can click on the manufacturer, the model, the frequency band, and we can add multiple devices at the same time. So we'll add two quads. It automatically calculates that that would be eight channels. You can also have it calculate a few backup frequencies for us. And in the case of the quad, turn high density mode on or off. We can add that in. If we'd like to add a U4, that's not a problem. UR5, SLX, and so on. We can also add different companies' wireless models example, we'll just throw in an Audio-Technica here for good measure and close that out. Any of the parameters here can be edited by double-clicking. So let's change this channel name, for example, to our MC mic. And we'll make this one the CEO, and we can go all the way down the line. We can also give each device a unique ID. For example, we can change this to quad number one and change this to quad number two just to help us keep track of things. If we know the group and channel, we can enter it in here or we can enter in a specific frequency. If we leave this at find best, sure, we'll simply find the best frequency for us when we get over into the frequency coordination tab. The zone is very, very useful when you're doing a show with multiple things going on in different areas. We can add new zones, but I've already populated this, so we'll put this in conference A, we'll put this quad in ballroom one, and this quad in ballroom two. What this tells the software is that we might get some interference between the rooms, but they're not going to be directly adjacent to each other in the same room, so it applies a little different algorithm when it figures out the frequency coordination. We can also create custom tags. You can add a new one, or just select one of the ones that I've made here, and this just helps in sorting things out at the end of the day if you have a large show. Now you'll notice down here that we just had something pop up in dark black. What this means is that this device is currently online and attached and any Sure device with an RJ45 jack will automatically populate into our show here. But you'll notice that this one still has some leftover stuff from the last show that we did with some background vocals and a saxophone and we want this receiver to now be our ULX quad one. So what we'll end up doing is grabbing this receiver simply dragging it on top here it will ask what you'd like to do and we'll take our device settings from wireless workbench apply to all and now we see that this has jumped up in the design it's renamed itself with everything we had it before and the only thing that we have to reset then is the default zone once we have all this stuff set you'll see over in our inventory tab here we can filter by different zones filter by manufacturers and even filter by the custom tags that we've made. So that was the inventory tab on Shure's wireless workbench software. Stick around and we'll have more videos ready for you for frequency coordination as well as the other features that are available in the software. Again, I'm Brian Christ with AudioBiz and thank you for watching.